It's the start of a new year and while the temperatures are cold outside, if you're planning to buy or sell real estate, you're probably wondering if the market is heating up. Well, you're in luck because I am here with your December market update for the Halifax Dartmouth region. So let's take a look at what has been happening. In December, we had a measly 159 new listings come to market in the HRM. 159 listings may or may not sound like a lot to you, so let's put this into perspective. In November, we had 419 new listings, so we're down 164% from the previous month. I've explained before how we typically do see the number of new listings start to decline as the year winds down, so seeing a drop in new listings is expected. However, if we compare to November and December of 2022, new listings were down only 102% in December from November. In fact, this is the lowest amount of new listings we've seen in the HRM for any month in over a decade. We saw 220 sales total in the HRM, which is down 56% from November. And again, it is normal to see overall sales decline as the year comes to an end. However, this was the slowest December we've had in overall sales since 2015. For months of inventory, we've got just two months of inventory as of the end of December. As a quick refresher, this means that if no new listings came to market, we would deplete our entire inventory in just two months. This was a notable drop from November where we were sitting at 2.5 months of inventory. And in fact, our inventory hasn't been this low since April of last year, 2023. So for properties priced below 500,000, we only have 0.8 months of inventory compared to three months of inventory for properties priced above 500,000. I do feel that this is an important difference to keep in mind whether you are buying or selling. If you're buying and you're looking in the sub $500,000 price range, know that there's just less options available and competition will be stiffer. If you're selling your property and your property is valued at more than 500,000, it's important to make sure your property stands out from the competition. Now let's look at average sale price. In December, the average was 534,000 in the HRM, which is up 1.2% from November and up 9% year over year. Now our list to sale ratio in December hovered right around 100.3%, which means that properties were generally selling pretty close to the last list price on average. One metric I haven't touched on recently is comparing the average sale price to the original list price, not the last list price. When we look at the average sale price compared to the original list price, we're actually at 98.3%, which means we are seeing more price reductions happening in the market before these properties sell. Our average days on market has inched up with an average of 37 days, up from 33 days in November. Once again, this means that properties are just taking a bit longer to sell. The difference in days on market between properties priced below 500,000 and those above is actually pretty significant, with properties priced below 500,000 selling in 25 days on average, versus the 54 days on average for properties priced above 500,000. So more than double. And I think this is important for sellers to keep in mind, both from a pricing standpoint, as well as just for managing their own expectations. Now on to interest rates. I'm gonna refrain from citing too many predictions for 2024 here because even leading economists weren't correct about what would happen in 2023. And ultimately, no one can say with absolute certainty what will happen. While current Bank of Canada projections do forecast rates starting to come down in 2024, and we've even seen some lenders already lowering their fixed rates in anticipation of that, others remain less convinced. Even the Bank of Canada has expressed some concern that a hot spring market could reignite inflation, which they definitely don't want. Not to mention the questionable landscape of the global economy with upcoming US elections and the persistence of war in the Ukraine and Middle East. That being said, the last three announcements of 2023 saw Bank of Canada holding rates and the first announcement for 2024 is slated for later this month in January 24th. So that's what happened in our market in the final month of 2023. Inventory and sales alike were down overall while average sale price saw a very modest increase. I think we will see a slow and steady pace for our market in the first few months with things picking up a bit in the spring, as they normally do by the way. And when and if we do start seeing some interest rate reductions, I do expect we will see renewed interest from buyers that got burnt out in 2023 and decided to wait. Now I do these market updates monthly and if you made it this far, thank you. 
Thank you for being here and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you'd like me to send you the latest stats specific to your area of interest, please reach out. I would be more than happy to do that for you. And if you'd like to book a meeting directly with me to talk about your specific situation and goals, you can do so using the Calendly link below. That's all I have for you today. I will see you next month for your January market update.